These six components listed in order of importance are the most important reason that you should be looking at specific things in each grinder set. Largest motor, variable speed, tension and tracking, rubber covered drive wheels, 220 plug, and ability for accessories. What's up blacksmiths? Today I'm gonna to talk about the top five belt grinders that are on the market. I'll link it as belt grinder slash sander because some people get that confused, but if you work with metal, you understand that it's a belt grinder. I'm gonna talk about why you can get a one by 30 that's like $80 from Harbor Freight to work, but there's a big difference in your ability to put out like a knife completely ground in 30, to 30 minutes to an hour, as opposed to it's gonna take me a lot of angled pushes through, the platen here isn't the easiest, but I'm gonna talk about why I think the top five grinders are on the list, as well as the, the real um, product descriptions that make them great. And I'm gonna shoot a short, and then I'll put the link to a description to a long video with more detail. So what we have here is what I think is the top five best on the market, two by 72 belt grinders. First off is the Beaumont KMG TX. Next is Alex Steele's Gibson 72 package. Next is Broadbeck. Uh, they do a great job from everybody in, in, in the industry who's told me. And Ameriblade, specifically because they're a very American, pro-American company, and Black Fox 1. I ended up going with the KMG TX from Beaumont, specifically because due to sources I am not allowed to disclose, let's just say they're masters in the field of metals and, and knife craft, um, gave me pretty much a universal high five for that company being one of the most outstanding, ergonomic and efficient. Um, but you know, Alex Steele and Broadbeck are probably the next two highest recommended in the community because if you haven't heard of Alex Steele, he is one of the number one YouTubers for blacksmiths out there on the web. And I think he does a great job instructing and talking through things. And, uh, and I'll talk about more of the pros to his package in a bit. But the Broadback was number one recommended from Red Label Abrasives, which is the belt abrasive manufacturer that's pretty much the go-to for the Forge and Fire for folks. And they gave a couple other recommendations on the list. Uh, I kept the Black Fox one that they recommended on there, but Ameriblade just happened to be another one that some folks in the industry, again, undisclosed, told me were a good go-to. So we'll get into this. Pretty much you're going to find the price points are going to be over 3000 Is is really just the starting package. And then you're also going to need some accessories and components. So let's get into it. So this is the Beaumont KMG TX. I ended up choosing this one because their customer service was great and their lead time was pretty short, but there's a lot of great things about it in ergonomics. This is the Alex Steele Gibson. This is really from Alex Steele, the number one blacksmith on YouTube, and he's got a great spinning wheel that's efficient. This is the Broadback Ironworks. This is the number one recommended by Red Label Abrasives. This is the Ameribraid Mastery Package, and they were really highly recommended from some of the masters of the metal community. Let me just say it that way. This is the Black Fox Pro or Black Fox One Pro, and it was really recommended from a couple of guys like Jason Smith and some of the other, Jason Knight and some of the other guys out there on YouTube. 